Hey, what's up? This is Casey with another episode of the show Don't Have a Name For. It. Today's shirt of the day is a blue sweatshirt. I've had my staples pulled out, so I'm doing much better. I have been interviewing for a bunch of jobs, a bunch of teaching jobs, and they've been in Singapore, Korea, and Japan. And they, it's been about 10 of them. And one of my, and 99% sure, it's Jim Gaffigan. He's a great comedian, and he does a bit about how bars and kindergartens or preschools are a lot the same. And a few of my jobs have asked questions about my experience, because I have a lot of job experience in bars and job experience in working as a teacher. So I wanted to talk about that. One quick thing, being a bouncer, it's not just violence. I would say about 99% of the time you're just standing there. If you're a good bouncer, most of the time you just want not, no violence whatsoever. Uh, the more fights you get into, the more you know, you don't know who you're fighting. You don't know who could actually be a decent fighter. And who, you know, you might be outnumbered by people. You might be sucker punched by somebody. Who knows? I've been in more fights than the average dude, but, you know, who wants to be average? But I've also lost a lot more fights than the average person. So, uh... Even if I've been in a lot, I'm still probably about, my win-loss record is probably the same. <laughs> um, so your best bet is to try to talk whoever down or get whoever it is out the door and shut the door and not let them back in. Most of the, in a bar, usually of most sizes, a bouncer might take out the garbage, might... Uh, check IDs, uh, pick up empty glasses, and who knows what else. Uh, I've worked in a lot of bars and I've had a lot of fun. It's been some of my, they've been some of my favorite jobs. Uh, and it's really turned, some of my bar jobs have turned me into the person I am today. Uh, a quick thing, I dated a few of the, of the, waitresses at one of my bars or a few of my bars. You know, I worked at bars for years and years and years, so it's not like this happened in a short span of time. But I, before I worked in a bar, I had no idea how many times a guy would grab a girl in her butt or her boobs or her legs or, you know, whatever, or try to kiss her. So, it really gave me a wake-up call on how often that actually happens to a woman. So that was one thing for me working in a bar. I was constantly running in and out, you know, tossing guys for grabbing our weight staff, you know, for no reason except they wanted to touch some girl's boobs who didn't want them touching the boobs at all. So. That's my little spiel about being a, a bouncer. It was a fun job. It's nothing I really want to do ever again. Uh, there are good and bad bouncers, just like there are anything else. Um, but I want to compare. The thing about Jim Gaffigan, he does a good comparison to bars and kindergarten. I also was a kindergarten teacher. And there are definite similarities to that. So one thing about being a bouncer is for the most of the part, you're standing around. Unless you're picking, you're the guy picking up glasses, you are standing or you are sitting. So if you are a kindergarten teacher, you are, the minute you're inside the door or even before, you are running around and doing so. Every time a kid has a pencil, 
that kid drops a pencil and you gotta pick it up and get it. You know, I don't want this blue pencil. I want a red pencil. So you are running and running and running and running. Um, it's really fun when you're working at a bar. You see relationships and one night stands happen. In kindergarten, you see relationships bloom. Um, I loved seeing my students have their little girlfriends and little boyfriends, uh, and who is dating who. You know, maybe today Johnny holds Jane's hand, and I just think that is absolutely adorable. I actually reconnected with my girlfriend from kindergarten a little while ago, and it's been really fun to talk to her. Uh, <laughs> I had a girlfriend in kindergarten and then a girlfriend for another maybe 15 years or so. So I also think that's funny. Um, one of the things, working as a bouncer, you might have violence here and there. But working as a kindergarten teacher, you have violence constantly. So my first day, literally my first day of working in a kindergarten teacher, I sat down and they introduced my Korean teacher introduced the students and I said, hi, my name is Casey teacher. I'm here to be your new kindergarten teacher. I'm from the United States of America. My favorite color is blue. I like wrestling. I like Star Wars movies. And a kid just went like this. <laughs> it pulled out his tooth and gave it to me. And as much blood and violence I've ever seen doing jiu-jitsu or just bar fights or whatever, I have never seen anything like that. Little five-year-olds and six-year-olds and seven-year-olds will fight at the drop of a hat. I've been punched plenty of times working at a bar or studying jiu-jitsu, but I was stabbed with, they have, it's almost like a carpet cutter sometimes they use. I got stabbed with one of those. I got stabbed with scissors. As a kindergarten teacher, I got, I was trying to teach a lesson on bubbles, or excuse me, I was trying to teach a lesson on sharing. So I bought a little thing of those bubbles, and you go, blow bubbles. So the lesson was, you blow bubbles for 10 seconds, and then you give it to your partner, and your partner blows it for 10 seconds. And then your partner gives it to somebody else, and that person gives it. And so I gave it, and this girl named Lisa wouldn't give the bubbles away, so I took the bubbles away and gave it to her partner. The next little kid was blowing bubbles, and I was, oh good, see, that's what sharing is all about. All of a sudden, I felt my leg go insane and what it was this little girl was biting into my leg i'd never been bitten in jujitsu or <laughs> as a bouncer uh like i said i've been punched plenty of times as a bouncer but way more times as a kindergarten teacher and let's up the ante here kids love cartoons i love cartoons but Kung Fu Panda, Shrek, and all of these cartoons have one very common thing is hitting boys or hitting men in the nuts is really, really funny. And a lot of these kids don't understand why. And sometimes these little kids in Korea don't see their dads a lot. So I might be the only man they see all day long. And they kind of are curious why it's so funny to punch some. A man in between the nuts. So I got punched the nuts more times than I can count. It's pretty much guaranteed by now. I'm never having kids because I've been punched in the balls way more times than is justifiable. Uh, I mean, it's funny. It's always going to be funny, but I. And the kids would laugh and I would almost throw up and next day it would happen again and you know it was I don't think I ever got hit in the nuts
working in as a bouncer, maybe I've been kicked in the nuts once or twice by accident doing jujitsu and wrestling. Um, insults as a bouncer, you know, maybe somebody says, you know, some of these male caring guys go, boy. You don't know who my dad is. My dad can buy this bar. You're just some loser who works at this bar. But little kids' insults are like, you're ugly. When a little five-year-old calls you ugly, that breaks your heart. You have monkey ears. <laughs> I don't like you. That's just horrible. I like the other teacher more than you. <laughs> so, I think working in a kindergarten and working in about working as a bouncer were two fabulous jobs. Uh, two jobs I don't know if I can do again. I think both jobs were great. Both jobs formed me, the, formed me as a person. But wow, I don't know. I could do them a few hours a week, but I couldn't do it full time. I think kindergarten teachers deserve at least double what they're making now. They are like NASA trained Navy SEALs. They are the best of the best. I couldn't do it for 40 or 50 or 80 hours a week. I don't know how you could do that. Uh, I mean, you mop up blood and pee and tears but in, in a bar, but nowhere as much as you do in a kindergarten. Uh, so, I did have absolutely great times, but it was, it could be grim and gruesome sometimes. Uh, but they were absolutely sweet. Uh, you know, sometimes they played paper, rock, scissors. I ate with the students, so I used to eat lunch with my students, so they played paper, rock, scissors to see who gets to eat next to Casey teacher. And that's absolutely adorable. Um, so I think uh, and it was like a an honor to sit next to me and eat with me. And I also got to help out dishing out food. And they always were so excited when I used to give rice or give him whatever they ate for the day. You know, and Casey teacher was giving them salads or kimchi or whatever. But, oops, time for me to wake up. <laughs> So, um, I just thought I would extend on, I'm pretty sure it's Jim Gaffigan's joke, working as a bouncer, working in a kindergarten. Thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. You're the best. Bye.